We are back at the dig spot again. Today, we'll be digging out under this porch. Chris is already getting a head start. What I'm doing is, I'm using this, this rake here, and I'm scraping out all the dirt from under the porch and bringing it out here, and I'm gonna sift through it with my screens and see if we can find anything. I mean, it's a lot easier than crawling up under there with all the rocks and glass and poison ivy and stuff. But I think we'll find some good stuff because the old rock steps used to be right over there. We'll see. Gotta get all this dirt out of here. Digging me a little hole. Right. I can go to sleep. Groundhog underneath there. Oh, look at that old pottery. That's something else right there. Want some corn? So kind of, kinds of junk under here. We just haven't been finding much but plaid and coins. Got them up there on the porch there, all the stuff we found. We did find a... Um, I got that necklace too. Yeah, you got the necklace there. Um, barrel ring off a gun. Barrel band, I guess. Barrel band. Couple of wood things got one thing with a hole straight through it. I gotta get out of here. Some coins. And... Man, it's rough getting under there. <laughs> All right, guys, we didn't find anything under there, but we're raking this hole out here, and I just found this gun hammer piece and mechanism. What'd you say that goes off of? We'll say infield. Maybe infield or, but it's from Civil War. I mean, the troops were right out in this front yard here. I mean, they walked right by. That is awesome. I just raked it out from under here. It was right where that little pile was beside that brick and that thick uh, dirt. So we're gonna rake all this out. There's gotta be some more stuff. I mean, it's gonna be a killer day. Look how much porch we have left to screen out too. All right. Chris has a good signal right there. Under the porch. I'm under here as well. Oh, I see it's a coin. Where's that? I see it with the camera. Right here, I got here, right there. It is modern quarter. Modern quarter. Ninety-five. Oh. All right. It could have been a gun part or something good. I trashed under here. We're gonna rake it all out. All right, Chris has something here, and look at that. You got a shell fragment. You know that's not off a cannonball yeah, either. That's, that's off, off like a artillery, so like a shinkle shell or something. Yep, that's where the stuff, fuse yeah. went. I'll be dang. We found that under the porch. I'm sitting here raking the dirt out and putting it in the screen for Chris to find. All right, that's that's great. Okay, I was raking out underneath here, right against this rock foundation. And I just found a dropped gardener bullet. Something else right there. Not far from where we found the gun gun piece. I'm under the porch and I spotted a bottle right there. Let's see if that's complete or not. It is complete, I think. Let's get this rake and uh, dig right beside it. I don't have no shovel with me. Oh my god! Ah, oh, it's broken! Man, almost complete. Nice. Cork top, though. Maybe there's some more down here. We'll keep on looking. It's a great find. Alright, right, just spotted a clay marble walking out. That's nice. Just found a nice drop through ringer. Another bullet out of this hole. Dug it right in there. Yard now, this old house. There's lots of signals. That's why we never detected it. Just got a signal here, and it was in the plug, in the plug right here, which is only like an inch deep, and it's a carved, carved Civil War bullet. That's sweet. That right there. Looks like a three ringer. Been carved. Wow. Awesome. And Chris is detecting. So here's our mess we've been making. We'll fill it in when we're done and landowner won't even know. 
but at least we're getting all the trash out from under his porch. Look at all this trash. It was all under his porch. It's all kinds of stuff. We have a trash can full over there. Here's some more stuff we found. We found some money. Got twenty dollars, some ten dollar bills, some play money, chain, a bunch of old cloth and stuff. Chris found a guitar pick under there. Sifton. I mean you just never know what you're gonna find. That's my sifting screen. But get back to digging around this yard, maybe we can find some more relics. Chris has a good signal. We just moved this boat. And this big dirt spot under there, and he located a signal under the boat. You think it's a coin? Or something really good? Is that it right there? Copper pipe, ain't it? Yep. Yep. It could be off something. That's off the boat. How do you know? It's got stuff saying around. Me and Chris oh, yeah. are digging out where this boat used to be. And I have a good signal here. And I spotted that, and it looks like a bullet. Yep, sure is. Ooh, that's a that's an infield. Nice infield bullet. Civil War. That's awesome. Awesome find out here in the yard. We're finding stuff underneath this crawl space for the past three days. We found like a whole bunch of bullets out of there, cannonball fragments, U.S. buckle, and everything. And now we're digging out in the yard and finding stuff like this. All yeah. right. We covered up our hole, and now we're down here at the creek cooling off. It's about 90 degrees out, and me and Chris have been doing a water hunt. We've only been here about an hour, and I wish I would have brought the camera down here at first, but I had to go back and get it. But here's what I found so far. I found a big old lead sinker out the water. I just dug this flat button like a minute ago before I got the camera. Nice colonial flat button, and I found this cross medallion necklace thing it's very cool piece of trash umbrella part two nickels a penny and a piece of brass and a lead sinker and most of it was found just right out here where Chris is at and I want to get back out there for my AT Pro and see if I can find some more All relics right. I found some stuff since last time I just dug this nice carved lead sinker right there. That's awesome. And I found some modern bullets and another fishing sinker. Just right in this same area where I found the flat button is where I'm digging this other stuff too. So we'll work it good and see if we can find Here's some more. Some relics. finds from the river. Found a little umbrella piece. Some fishing sinkers. This one's carved. Really nice. A little flat button. It's probably the best find. Well actually this right here, a little cross medallion thing and I got two nickels a penny and just some other odds and ends and uh, when we get back to the house we'll show you all the stuff we found on land today and under that porch our finds for today that's the water finds I just showed but here's my stuff that I found under the porch and around the house got a little hammer mechanism to the gun there we think this is from an infield but we're not sure We'll find, found some bullets, Confederate Gardner bullet, got an infield, a carved three ringer. That's a clay marble right there. Spencer casing. There's a spoon handle. I found that out in the yard. Horseshoe, some modern forks and spoons and stuff. And here's all the coins that I found under the porch. This one here says gold lash not sure how old that is and I found some bling bling got a lighter actually still works probably maybe a uh, bottle it's broken on the corner but I'll probably still keep it good display piece if you do it like that and here's Chris's finds he found a bunch of stuff it's like a flintlock here. It's been converted. Yeah, it's been converted to a percussion cap, right? Mm -hmm. And just some modern clad. A bunch of clad, actually. Look at all the coins. You got a little bracelet, gold plated, buckle. Percussion cap. 
Yep, porcelain doll. Yeah, he did get a percussion cap. Colonial combat button. Spencer case in and oh, found this shell fragment under the porch as well. And that's just some other stuff from another site, but cool little relics. That could go off a sword, we think. And a lipstick case. Anyway, uh, that's all of our finds. We've had a pretty good day. We'll get out again tomorrow and do some more digging. Good luck and happy hunting.